last homework for 1.4. Um, the first one is a, an if and only if, an if and only if we haven't done those yet. P if and only if R not P, and then we want to see does that entail R? Now, just intuitively speaking, P if and only if R means that if you have a P, you have an R. If you don't have a P, you don't have an R. So, you don't have a P. I'm gonna say this probably doesn't work. Um, so <clears throat> we'll make our initial list P if and only if R not P and then we have to negate the conclusion right not R we want to see is it possible to have the premises true and the conclusion false if so then this doesn't prove anything and the not P and the not R there's no rule for those but the if and only if is this rule right here it's uh, splitting on both sides and why you may wonder why is it this rule it seems like different from the rest of them um, it's because one um, when you have the if and only if uh, it's made true either uh, in one of two ways either both of them are true or both of them are false if you have A then you have to have B if you have B you have to have A but if you don't that means if you don't have A you can't have B if you don't have B you can't have A so that's why this and the not if and only if down here would be the opposite right not it's not the case that you have this so you have an A or not B Anyway, let's apply this rule. So I'll split it over here, PR, over here, not P, not R. And on the left hand side, I'll start at the bottom of the branch, go up. I see an R, not R, that's a contradiction. I start down here, not R, no, doesn't contradict, not P, doesn't contradict with anything. This is invalid. That means I'm going to have to make a counter model. And for my counter model, I have two variables here, or two propositional parameters. The truth value of p is going to be zero, because I have a not p on this branch. And the truth value of r is going to be zero, because I have a not r on this branch. That means r is false, so zero stands for false. So I'm, again, I'm doing this branch right here, not this branch, because this branch closed. That's number one. Let's do number two. Number two says, if P then Q, let me go ahead and move that all the way out of there. If P then Q, then R and not Q. We want to know does that entail not P and R. So I'm going to say, let's pretend it doesn't and see if that works. Not P and R. Looking at this again intuitively speaking, uh, this is saying both R is true and Q is false. So R is true here, it's going to be true in the conclusion too. And this is saying R is true and P is false. This is saying Q is false, and this says if P then Q. So if not Q, then we know that also not P. So this says not P. I think this is going to be valid. Let's see. The first one I'll, I'll do is the AND rule. The AND is nice and simple right here. So uh, here's my AND right here, R not Q. I'll write that R not Q, check. And then I have an if then rule, I'll do that one. Here's my if then rule. All right, uh, not P, Q, check. Let me move up a little bit. And now I have a not and rule. This is the not and, apply it to this. And I'll have uh, not, not P, not R. And again, not, not P, not R, check. And then the not nots are easy. Check, check. All right, so, and you may wonder like, well, how, how is, he can't see all the way up here. I don't really need to see up at the very top because um, I've already, um, I, these are all formulae and I'm really worried just about the R's and the P's and the Q's and they start right here. So I'll just move it up here like so. And I'll start looking for my contradictions. P contradicts not P, so that is closed. Not R contradicts R, closed. P doesn't contradict anything, but Q contradicts not Q. And it's going to do it on both sides, right? But because um, this branches out here, both of these have to go through this Q, and then they contradict right there, that not Q. So these are both closed branches. This is valid. Number two is valid. Let's do the next one. If P then Q, R and not P. We want to know does that entail not Q 
and R. And this is actually the same as two, except for um, instead of going not Q, uh, if P then Q, not Q, therefore not P, if P then Q, not P, therefore not Q, and that's invalid, right? The R is sort of like a free rider here on both sides. It's just some extraneous material you've got. Really, the 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 interesting part is the p and the not you know the not p and the not q. So I'm going to say this is probably invalid. Once again, I'll start with my and rule. Here's my and rule, and I'll apply it to this. I'll have r not p check. Now my if then rule, which is right here. Not p q check, and now my not and rule right here. Not not Q, not R, not not Q, not R. I've made sure that I'm applying it on both sides, right? And so this one's done. Check. Now I'm looking for contradiction. Oh no, I'm sorry. I we saw the not nots, right? Not not Q turns into Q. Not not Q turns into Q. Check check. Check check. Now I'll look for contradictions. Q does not contradict anything. Not P doesn't contradict anything. Not P are no contradictions this is an open branch again I don't have to keep looking if I don't want to I'll do it just for fun not R contradicts R so this one is closed Q doesn't contradict anything um, Q again doesn't contradict anything not B R I'm good there so this is an open branch too not R contradicts R this is a closed branch so I have two open branches I can choose whichever one I'd like I'm going to choose this gentleman right here I'm going to say this is invalid my counter model is going to be the truth value of p equals zero, and that's because I have a not p on my uh, on my open branch that I'm the one that I chose because I have two open branches, but the one that I chose to look at not p is uh, is there, so p is false. Then the truth value of q equals one because I have a q here that means q is true, right? And then I have r at the top, so the truth value of r equals one. All right, so invalid. Let's go on to the next one. Not P or Q. I know that means, P or Q means at least one of these two things are true. If that's false, then it's the case that none of them are true, right? And we wanna know, does that entail that P is false and Q is false? Yeah, that's what I just said, right? So um, this probably is gonna be valid, not P and not Q. By probably I mean it will for sure be valid and it will be sure be valid. So I'm first gonna use my not or rule, which is right here. And I'm gonna come up with not P, not Q. Right? Check. That not or makes sense because if A or B means that either, at least one of these two things are true, not A or B means that it's not the case, at least one of these two things are true, so both of them have to be false. So not A and not B, you have to have both of those guys. Now I'm gonna do the not and rule, which is this guy right here. So I'll have to split them out. Not, not P, not, not Q, check. Not, not P turns into P, check. Not, not Q turns into Q, check. Now I'll look up my branches. P contradicts not P, Q contradicts not Q. This is, oops, this is valid. All right, last one, P and Q and R. And I wanna know, does that entail R and P and Q? I think this one will be very intuitive, right? If the top one just says P is true and Q is true. Not only that, but R is also true. And this it says the same thing. R is true and P is true. Not only that, but R and P and Q are also true. So this is going to be valid as well. First, I'll do my and rules, right? And I was, uh, I know it's going to be tempting to just write PQR, but uh, you want to do it the same way every single time because although it might seem like uh, really easy to see right here, that should be an R. Uh, you will eventually get to a time. Oh, that's ugly. You will eventually get to a time where it's not so easy to see and if you start to get sloppy then you are going to make a mistake so then I'll reapply the and rule right here oops check PQ and then I have non and rule so the non and rule is right here 
I'll split this up into not R and B, not Q. Especially check, especially uh, keep it simple. I mean, keep keep doing all your rules if you're just starting out, like you guys are. Uh, oops, sorry. Yeah, you want to get it drilled into your head what you're doing. Not R, not P. This is the uh, this is the not and rule applied again. So check. I'll look at um, I'll look at the first branch. Not R contradicts R. Sweet. Not P contradicts P. Not Q contradicts Q. This last one is valid, and that is your homework.